So I'm here with Dr. David Judd, who knows what well, would be the science of all these sort of things, really, wouldn't it be? Because you've studied blood, urine and everything. I'm going to talk about calcification of the penile gland. Well, what is the penile gland for a start? What does it do? Well, our pineal gland um, is our third eye. Um, and uh, in times gone by, it was much more closer to the surface. Um, and we but still it's in have. the back of the head now. Isn't a, it? uh, well, so it's in the deepest part of the brain, inside. the darkest part of the brain. Yep. If you have to go back up in there yep. and deep into the head, more you'll come to the pineal gland. And how big is it roughly? It's about at the moment the size of a dime, okay. an American dime. Yep. And it used to be uh, bigger or smaller? Yes, it did. It used to be the so size of um, not that long ago, really, about the size of a, uh, a quarter. An American okay. quarter, 25 cent piece. So does that mean our connection, our spiritual connection and all these is, is just dwindling? Our third eye, our ability to mind read and so forth is going away from that? Is it because of the food? What is it? What's happening to our penal glands? Uh, well, uh, certainly someone could be, as you're pointing out, perhaps in jail uh, because their body could not necessarily be functioning as well as what it could for them. Yeah. Uh, we put phosphate on everything. And uh, of course, phosphate is probably one of the most volatile elements in the periodic chart. When you put super phosphate and the animal consumes phosphates or phosphates are applied in the growing of something, those phosphates end up in the food chain. And that extra phosphate in our body is one of the major so elements which is causing disease, causing calcium phosphate buildup and calcification in our body, including our, our pineal gland. So if we could just imagine that so we're you, you're, you're, you've got a beautiful piece of equipment like yeah. a camera yeah. and no one would want to put sand in there, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I mean, uh, and most people would know, well, there's not a real good way to get it out. Right. Well, how no. do you get it out? Right, so it's like, why, why put it in there? It's amazing to me that we're living in a world where um, you've got powders, pills, potions, lotions and things um, and if you ask a doctor um, that you, of course they know how to get that in there but yeah. um, how do you get it out? Uh, that's something which could so, be so not how, really how do we pull it out? How do we detoxify our body and get rid of, you know, clean up the penile gland and, and make ourselves well again? I mean obviously well, organic okay. and everything but what is... Well mother's milk across the earth is five parts calcium, two parts phosphate Blood is around five parts calcium, two parts phosphate. Um, this is an average, which is for a great ape species like ourselves. That's a pretty good ratio. But when yeah. we could have been consuming food stuff, which was not of this ideal ratio, a grain can have 20 parts of phosphorus to only one calcium. A bean can have 40 parts of phosphorus to one calcium. Flesh can have 200 parts phosphorus to one calcium. So uh, this extra phosphate combines with calcium and starts to form a plaque uh, which is a metallic substance which is in the body and our body is not designed to have like an antenna of metal yeah. within itself where dirty electricity is perpetually being picked up by that antenna inside your body being radiated out, back out into the tissue yeah. and things. So we're seizing everything up. That's, that's you, clogged arteries, arthritis, everything. You could say things. that uh, that we could learn more about what life food is, which is about life force, the life yeah. force, whether something has life force or not. Uh, if it cannot reproduce itself, it probably is something which is not life food. Yeah. Those foodstuffs like a bean or a grain which cannot reproduce itself at all um, is full of phosphorus, you see. Um, and so we've got strange undigestible proteins, we've got runaway sugars, we've got rancid fats, yeah. and how's our body going to fare? Uh, life begets life, dead begets dead. It, I'd behoove people um, to learn a little bit more um, and uh, stop this idea that apparently food is got, of no consequence, mm. which it really is. And most all disease that we have in Australia, most of it, um, certainly the somatic portion of it can be a lot to do more with not consuming live food. 
So, I mean, how long does it take? I mean, it's probably a million dollar question, really. How long would it take before the body can't handle that amount of phosphate? I mean, everyone's different, aren't they? So, I well, mean, you did a little right test from on the gecko. The pen, so, yeah. So, what we did was we just ran a pen up and down yep. Stephen's arm, and we'll he could a feel. Let's grab a pen. He could feel. Uh, what was going on within himself, which stolen. you could at home as well. Okay. Thanks, so mate. This is a great little test. So, um, and so grab, you grab ask the person arm. just to relax and, yep. um, and, and, and just I can go feel in. All these little lumps all in there. And oh. we, can, we can feel <laughs> sort of this going over a corrugated road. It does. And so I can feel this is ridge. calcium phosphorus, yep. and this is an example of what's in the brain. The heart, the now prostate. That's freaking me out because it's like everywhere. all in there. Yes, that's, that's probably is that normal? It's quite. Uh, uh, it's it's um, maybe a little less than normal. Okay, and are we getting these from things like drugs as well? No, no. We, we primarily no, have got those source. from a past of having consumed foodstuffs which was loaded with phosphorus. Yeah. So, of course, dairy is, um, flesh is, grain is, beans are. And so these are sort of staples, aren't they? How long would it take then for that to clean up out of a body? If I went, if I went, you know, more West Boston, say right. all the proper foods, yeah. how long would that take? Um, well, it's possible to, to have a solution which rubs into the body part and then uh, for okay. shea butter or something to be put over that and then for this to be scraped quite deep, you know, so um, and this can help it. dissolve okay. this. Yep. Yeah. So there's but that's ways surface we can. Though, isn't it? But what about the deeper stuff? Internally, uh, phosphoratase is the enzyme to help break down phosphate. Yep. And so we have to have more live food substances which really have phosphoratase in it, which seeds do, a nut does. And so we have to find yep. ways to incorporate seed and yep. nut. Um, which everything which is the body that comes from a flower is a fruit. So a seed is a fruit, a nut is a fruit, cauliflower is a fruit, broccoli is a fruit, cucumber is a fruit, squashes are fruits, um, zucchinis are fruits, so all these are fruits. So why don't we know actually. about this? No one ever talks about this in, in food and, and that aspect <clears> of it. Is it um, I mean, is it something that they don't want you to know? Because well, you could say that an we're... that want you sicker or... Living in a world at the moment where we've got a condition of a goat jumping on someone or jumping off the person yeah. and you've primarily got that going on. See, so everything you're seeing is really a reaction to a goat having jumped on someone. But could you imagine that we own the growth of the money supply? Yeah. Did you, could you have a feeling that actually we would be more directing um, everything and that we would have a reason why we'd be caring so much that others have their health? Yeah. Whereas, don't we not live in a world at the moment where we could put a, f a sign up at the f top of the cliff and it says, keep back, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, we could even put a bit of a fence there and it says, keep back. That's kind but of if we don't do these preventative things, what are we doing? We're plying and plowing all the money into ambulances to take people away at the bottom of the cliff. And it makes more money doing that. there's also like so. these products that are just television brainwashing you to buy these when, products yeah so well a synthetic yeah. is certainly dead and uh, we should wake up to stopping and mm. stop voting in the out of the way you're living your life by what you're purchasing if you're purchasing synthetics yeah. we should really stop that uh, there is no chef that's come along and said that um, she or he has improved upon this apple yeah. Um, yeah. I think that would be very arrogant for anyone to say that they've improved upon the apple. I don't think that well, anybody GM, could. Well, they're getting into the GMO stuff now, aren't they? So they think they're improving it, but that's actually not at all. Well, um, opposite. Romans have drunk out of lead, um, and only just recently we've just discovered that perhaps a genocide of people have been uh, has been incurred because beta blockers. Mm. Um, it shows um, that we're surgeries have been done that's non-cardiovascular surgeries where beta blockers and things have been used um, very questionable as to be the effect of that and that many deaths can have been incurred as a result of using this you see so we're not living in a world certainly that is as scientific as what it could be absolutely not we're living in a world where uh, 
it's someone has had to go get ahead and jump on top of someone else to get ahead. And so this is wrong. Yeah. Your doctors don't know anything about nutrition, so they're not going to tell you the rights and wrongs of the food aspect of it either, are they? Uh, well, well, they're not trained. Mm. I mean, you know the mm. enzyme aspects of how it goes through the body, how it works and everything like that. Uh, well, if, if doctors are in a guild and there is no originalness mm -hmm. at all and everything they do is only about something synthetic and only ever thinks that they've investigated something dead under a microscope, not anything living. Um, many scientists right now could point out certainly that modern medicine is really the art of keeping people amused yeah. more while nature's taking its course. Uh, and 32% of the success of people are having, no one could rule out the fact of that being a placebo, um, yeah. which is that not important also how you've, someone is convinced about something is going to be a factor to some degree, isn't it? Yeah. So why not uh, simply tick the box, yes, we want reform in banking because uh, as we have this, uh, we can be spending this in, in areas yeah. that we'd be caring to create. And at the moment, that's not occurring, you see. I think in, innately we do want to change our, our health system and things like that. I mean, that, imagine if we did got rid of all that, wouldn't need any health cover. Barely need it, broken bones, a few things like that. Yes, absolutely, but in general, your health is... We would be living health. in a world where no one would be um, held hostage because they're sick. Yeah. See, that's, this is more an ethical society. Mm -hmm. I think it's wrong where someone, because they've not got their health, totally they have suffered enormously and we all... Um, we don't think that's okay. Mm. Most of us don't. We would prefer yeah. to have a system that is more humane and is caring. Uh, why should not children be uh, taught how children can be born out of a form of discretion? If you asked the average Australian, do you know what um, your signs are of fertility? Can you tell me that? Mm. You see, we might know what the footy scores were, you know, and, um, and things, but simple f things which we should be really aware of more, uh, which can cause us to survive, because intelligence is the ability that we have to go beyond prefix set patterns of response to be able to survive.